orb time. Orb time is uh, who's who's ready for orb time? I think it's about time. I think it's about time we uh, get some orbs into the equation, right? I think it's about time we get some orbs, maybe some eggs, maybe some. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I actually do not know the collectibles of this game because I have never fucking played it before. It's a little bit of a lie. I've played it enough to uh, earn 1% 1, one trophy on PlayStation.com. If you want to leave after that revelation, I fully understand. Uh, feel free to unsub. Out, uh, the door's right there. Uh, don't, 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 don't let it hit you in the ass on the way out. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Really coming to this with a great energy. Uh, we're playing Jack and Daxter tonight. Um, because, I don't know, I, I, I feel like a lot of, like, old people are Republicans. And I don't fucking understand. No, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I feel like... Um, <laughs> I, I I have been a PlayStation fan my entire life. <laughs> Finally, we're getting political in here. Um, no, uh, I have been a place. What I meant to say, I don't know where that came from. I've been a PlayStation fan my entire life. I grew up on the PlayStation One and especially the PlayStation Two. Um, however, that being said, most of my uh, most of my library as a kid was made up of like shitty uh tie-in games for like cartoons and movies like that that kind of like b-movie open season kind of shit um <clears throat> so i missed out on like actually quite a bit of the old like playstation mascot platformers uh and so of course y'all know last year i did a whole marathon of the Ratchet and Clank series where I played like 90% of those games for the very first time. I never touched any of them before in my life. And that was an incredible experience. And of course, uh, the subject that kept coming up as I was playing those games is, hey, we'd love to see you also do Jack and Daxter. Uh, because I feel like Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank were kind of uh, weren't they like kind of around the same time, maybe sort of like both kind of fighting for that spot as like PlayStation 2 era mascot and then like Sly Cooper dropped in somewhere along those lines, but like a little bit under the radar. Um, but uh, yeah, so but Jack and Daxter always came up and I always said like, I, I, I want to get to it eventually. Yeah, I'd love to do a series of Jack and Daxter. So uh, you know, I, I'm not officially branding this as a Miss Marathon playthrough um, for a few reasons. Uh, mainly, I, it just doesn't have like the uh, like the urgency of a, of a normal Miss Marathon playthrough. You know, I did I did the whole Halo series because a new Halo game was coming out. I did the whole Ratchet and Clank series because a new Ratchet and Clank was coming out. And um, MCU games I didn't even finish because they fucking suck. So I honestly don't even think that counts anymore. Uh, and then you know. Infamous I did because it was before I started branding it as Miss Marathon, and then uh, it also like like had like a like a year or two in between of hiatus because I wasn't really I didn't really know what I was doing just yet in terms of uh, you know scheduling a marathon. So all that to say, this is not Miss Marathon because it's not. I, I'm not promising that I'm going to play all of these games in quick succession. I'm probably not going to get to all of them on stream. My goal hope is to hopefully by maybe like halfway through this year or even like by the end of the year, whichever comes first, or even if I get it done earlier, just at some point throughout the year, I would like to have Jack and Daxter, Jack two and Jack three under my belt in terms of, in terms of streams. Those are the only three that I am committing to the idea of streaming. Um, Jack X, a little bit in there, maybe. If, I, if, if it looks like something I'll enjoy based on what I think of the previous games and all that stuff, but that's not a promise. 
what I'm like, as close as I can get to a promise while also, you know, the, the usual caveat of like, I don't fucking know what's going to happen. Maybe halfway through this year, I'll just decide that I never want to stream again. I don't know. My brain is fucked up. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh God. I didn't mean that in a way of like, oh, look, welcome to my twisted mind kind of thing. It's just, I am mentally ill. Um, but <laughs> not in a way that makes me think I'm cooler than everybody else. Uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, so, so all that to say, as close as I can get to a, a, a promise uh, of, of, playing through all of these all, all three of these games of like the main trilogy uh that's really the extent of my plans for the stream series and then if i throw an extra one in there at some point just consider that a bonus um penny's twisted world <laughs> oh god <laughs> uh so yeah so tonight we're starting jack and daxter um so yeah, full transparency. I have I've, I've I've like booted up this game before. I've played through like the first couple levels like I don't know, a while back, like maybe like a couple years ago at this point. I don't remember shit. Like it's 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 basically going to be a blind playthrough. The one thing I remember and also the one thing I know about this game just through uh, cultural osmosis and also the fact that my girlfriend Joy just played through like maybe half of this game on her own time like last week. Uh, just on a whim uh, is that everyone is mean <laughs> in this game, which I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. Uh, apparently this game has a very mean energy to it, which you probably know is not really my thing. Uh, so we'll see if that is at all enjoyable. It's, it, you know, yeah, it's an, er it's an early, it's an early two thousands naughty dog game. I don't know. Like, I don't know why I would expect any different. This is very much in like the, okay, we made Crash Bandicoot, which is a little bit more like kind of not, not, not squeaky clean, but it's clean enough that it could be like, you know, just a little family friendly mascot thing. But now we're doing our next game, Jack and Daxter. Look at these guys. These guys are assholes uh, because we're edgy. And then of course, I, I don't know a lot about it. So, you know, please don't allude to too much that happens in the next games. But I do know that... <laughs> for some reason, there's a huge tonal shift from Jack and Daxter uh, to Jack 2. And I'm really excited to see what the fuck that's about. Um, again, do not tell me anything, of course. Uh, general, yeah, so general guidelines, of course, in terms of like chat etiquette. Uh, when I'm playing through a series like this blind, I really, really, really uh, value the first time player experience. Um, and I know these games have been out for a while and there's only so much I can justify, you know, not asking for spoilers on certain things. But while you're like in chat, just know that this, this is a, this is like an area where I want to, I, I like, I do know like very little about these games, truly. Like I know next to nothing about these games aside from the tiny bit that I've seen. Uh, and also just like, I know the animation's great, but like, you know, I, a lot of these games are going to be really new to me, and, I, and I'd like to experience that uh, firsthand, like, as if I was playing it back in the day. Of course, that's, I, I can't get that. Like, <laughs> like the, the, the real experience we're going to be having is what the reality is, which is someone in 2022 is playing it without having played it before. <laughs> so, uh, but, I, but I do assume these games are pretty story-focused, maybe less so the first one, because as far as I understand, the first one's a little bit more your standard collect-a-thon, whereas the other two maybe get a little bit more creative with it. But um, uh, yeah, uh, but but since since it seems that like the story and the characters are a, a, like a little bit of a focus, uh, I, I want to kind of experience that as, as, as we go. Uh, as fresh as possible. So, you know, obviously, and this just goes without saying, I would, I would hope, but like, especially for a series like this, please read up on chat rules. Uh, general etiquette in terms of spoilers is like, if we haven't seen it, uh, if we haven't seen it on broadcast as the series is going on, please don't talk about it. Like if it's either something I missed or something we're going to see eventually, uh, please don't allude to it unless I like specifically ask for an illusion of some kind. Uh, and trust me, you will know if I am asking for 
like input or tips or hints or anything like that. Like if, if there is literally any doubt in your mind that I am directly asking chat for help or, or hints or spoilers about something, um, then the answer is I'm not. If there's any doubt in your mind that I'm doing that, the answer is that I'm not. <laughs> uh, it's going to be explicitly clear if I'm asking for something. So otherwise just, you know, try to keep that in mind. Um, of course, like I said, I, I, I'm trying to be a little bit more lax about that these days, but it is still an important part of the way I like to run my stream. So Penny will use her dark art powers of saying, hey, chat. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it really will be very explicit. Uh, I'll even say fuck in it. It'll be that explicit. Um, I think we've, we've got some subs going on so far. Has 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 sub sounds been playing? Have alert sounds been playing at all? Because I feel like I, I heard one earlier. Do it say fuck? No. Um, Ray McGaiman, thank you for the resub. Uh, Volop came in. Thank you so much. Oh, Volo Pokemon. Got it. Thank you for the sub. We got some boops. Yeah, we got a little bit of boops. I guess. Oh, and then earlier in the pre-stream, I, I, thanked, I thanked them in chat. Uh, through text, but I did want to give another shout out uh, to Mittermac, who gifted five tier one subs to the community. Thank you so much. That is really appreciated. Um, yeah, I, like this is this is probably the first time I'll have focused on this in a while because I I uh, like I don't know. At some point last year, I kind of changed the way I thought about my streams and and started running my streams. And my streams are very much at the moment focused towards almost like just recording good content with a live chat and like streaming the process of recording something that can then be edited into something for YouTube that actually makes me money and like actually like helps support me and stuff. Um, not that Twitch doesn't support me, uh, which is what I'm getting to. Um, but you know, I, I will say uh, the problem with that is that YouTube ad revenue throughout the year fluctuates a lot and it especially fluctuates when uh, stream highlights are the only thing I'm putting out um, because not only not only do those like cost money to make because of course I have to pay my editors and uh, captioners and everything, uh, but also on top of that, like uh, you know, it's it's they're not the most popular thing I do, and so you know, like stuff is pretty good when I put out when I put out like a dub or a Sonic Destruction, but then oftentimes the in between points fluctuate a little bit. Um, and normally it's fine. Like for most of the year, uh, especially last year, once I started putting out more frequent videos, like the back half of 2021 in terms of revenue for me was so, so much better than it had been in such a long time. And it was such a big relief to see that. But I will say uh, January and February have proven to be a problem point <laughs> uh, because early year ad revenue fucking sucks <laughs> it's really really bad the drop in 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 ad revenue from december to january was insane for me and so you know i'm just I'm, I'm just gonna say i'm not in any immediate danger so you know please this is not a high stake situation but right now i will say uh twitch support really would go a long way uh, specifically right now, specifically during the likes of like January, February. So if you, if you have anything extra and you want to throw like a sub my way uh, or a donation my way, subs actually are kind of mainly what I want to focus on if you have the capability to subscribe uh, to to the channel, uh, whether it's through Prime or recurring like five months, five bucks a month or whatever. Uh, totally up to you and what you can do. Uh, and of course, if you can't do anything, no need to apologize or feel bad or or, or whatever. Just, you know, it's totally cool. Just being here and hanging out is good enough, but also if you have the capability to do a little extra, uh, subscribing and doing all that stuff does help out a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. So, uh, yeah, thank you. I just wanted to point that out really quick because as like specifically right now, I'm just trying to get by <laughs> because uh, I haven't I haven't put out like a dub or a Sonic Destruction in, in a little bit, and and that's kind of been specifically early in the year. That's been kind of <laughs> taking its toll. Although we. Actually, we did put out Sonic Destruction uh, like beginning of very beginning of February, I think, which uh, or was it beginning? No, it was beginning of January. It was because it was New Year. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck, y'all? 
Actually pretty happy gifted five tier one subs and Pepper and Pecans also gifted five tier one subs. What the fuck? Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Jesus Christ. And that's a hype train. Thank you. Thank you. And a creative uh, corner and dear odd. Thank you. Uh, Code blue as well. Thank you so much for the it's subs. It's not a lot that I can give Aaron, but I do hope it's fine. Smile. It is absolutely fine. It is $3. Fucking generous as hell. That's three more dollars than I had before. <laughs> Thank you. It really, it, it does help. Thank you. Um, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to get into it right away. I, I feel like I don't have a lot otherwise to talk about. <laughs> uh, you know, normally I like to spend the first like 50 or so minutes of a stream just kind of shooting the shit. Um, but I don't, I don't know. My brain has just been a complete mush lately because I spent an entire fucking like nightmare week. Um, the, the, the nightmarishness of the week was external outside of what I was doing that week, but then I spent the rest of the week when I wasn't a fucking anxious puddle uh, playing Horizon Forbidden West and platinuming that, spent 80 hours in the course of like a week and a half just just purely like doing almost nothing but playing that. Uh, and that was a great time, don't get me wrong, but also, man, I, I feel like it took a number on just, like, my ability to be a person. Creative Corner also, thank you for the 521 subs! Holy shit! Miss Miotis, thank you for the sub, y'all. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It 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 truly means a lot. Like, I, 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 straight, I straight up do not take it for granted. It means so much. And, uh, you know, like I said, I like to, I'm, I'm trying to run my streams a little bit more casually nowadays and just have a good time and like make good stuff and rely on the stuff well. being good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. $20. That is so fucking generous. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, nowadays I'm, I'm trying a lot more to rely on the stuff being good rather than the requests being frequent, if that makes sense. Uh, and for a while the balance was, uh, tipped a lot more towards the latter, which just wasn't working for me for a while. Uh, because, you know, people got their own situations, and that's that's something I understand, and I I, I totally uh, get and take no issue with. So, like, um, you know, I just go, what the fuck? <laughs> thank you for the 10 gift subs. Ah! Thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I sound mad. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm, like, literally shocked. What the hell? Thank you. Uh, uh, was, uh, yeah, so, but, but, you know, every once in a while, it is important to remind people that, like, this is an important, like, source of support for me, and it does, it does, it does matter, and it does help, and it's always there, so, um, if you ever got the capability and you ever think of me, just, you know, remember that it does help. Uh, is it true? Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Zoe3D Blast. I, <laughs> I like almost like just want to get into it, but also I don't, I almost don't want to get into it right now. Like I want to wait for things to die down a little bit so that we're not super distracted uh, because I want to give the game its proper due. Wow, Penny's mad at money. I know, why the fuck is this happening? This is literally, this is not what I asked. I asked for the red one, dad. Dad, I literally asked for the blue one. What the fuck? GJ Theotis, thank you so much for gifting five times. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Thank you. It's very fucking generous, y'all. Suffer our affection. Suffer our affection. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not heard that one. <laughs> How is slash was Horizon Penny? I want to like. I want to like write a review of it because I. I don't know. I feel like I'm all in the weeds about that game. Um, cause I think overall, I think it was great. Overall, I had a great time, but, and this is how I've been trying to just like succinctly describe it. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn, the first game is, um, like a very steady, steadily great quality game. The quality of Horizon Zero Dawn is very consistent. Um, and so basically the whole time you're kind of getting the same experience of like, yeah, 
yeah, this is good. This is just like a solid open world game. The combat's fucking great and the combat continues to be great as it goes. The lore is really cool. The mystery of how the world happened is fucking awesome and like so interesting and it never stops being interesting the more you play. Uh, so like it's it's very consistent. Horizon Forbidden West, the new one, the highs of Forbidden West are a lot higher. The good moments in that game, like the really good moments are like incredible. Like they that game has some great highlight moments that like I just really appreciated. It made me tear up like quite a few times, uh, which I can't say for Zero Dawn. And like, it was just, you know, it was just really fucking nice. Like the writing of Forbidden well. West overall. Hope things are settling down a bit. If you just said they are, I apologize. I had to close the stream so my internet would load the donate page lower. <laughs> no, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Lazy Lesbian. Um, uh, the, the the character writing and the just the quality of the character interactions, both in like like again writing and uh, animations and 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 like blocking and staging and stuff, is so so much better in Forbidden West. It's it is quite quite unbelievable how much extra effort they put this time around into making even the smaller interactions um just a lot more engaging so all of that stuff is like miles better than the first one um Hi there, fuzz ball. less than three less than three of what oh, but you donated ten dollars i've been making <laughs> that sound a lot i had to i had to get out of the habit <laughs> thank you Tom tony um so yeah, the high the highs are a lot higher because they have a lot of really good stuff going for it. A lot of the navigation and like the movement, like the the grapple shot and the um the uh paraglider mechanic are both fucking great and they make it so much more fun to just like explore. However, the lows of Forbidden West and uh, everything from story lows to uh combat lows are a lot lower than Zero Dawn. So the experience of Forbidden West is actually a bit rockier. Like it's like it's a, and it's funny because like there were, I think there were more occasions where I was playing Forbidden West and thinking, oh my God, this is such an improvement over the first game that I would say it's probably overall a better game if you want to talk about just like the, the, the macro experience. But I just keep getting caught up in all the little things that really fucking irritated me while I was playing it. Um, and I don't, and, and, you know, I, like I said, I spent a, like a week and a half straight, like just so, so engrossed in this game. I, I, I played it 80 plus hours and platinum the whole thing in less than two weeks. And so I have thoughts about it, but at the same time, I experienced it so quickly that like, I'm just all in the weeds about it. And like, I want to, maybe write about it um, or uh, like make a video or something. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I have the energy to do that. Like I just, it's weird. It's pretty weird. Like I, I would go into some of the specific issues I have right now because like there are like one or two things that really frustrated me about the game. Uh, there's one or there's, there's a few story decisions that I thought were a little iffy, but there's one in particular that I think was so fucking unnecessary and makes no sense narratively. It like literally makes no sense that it happened. Uh, and, and it honestly just upset me. Um, and it's a sad thing that happens and it's supposed to be upsetting in that like you care that it's happening and obviously you're sad about it happening. But like, I wasn't sad that it happened. I was frustrated and angry that they wrote it that way because it, there, it because even by the time I had finished the game, I was like, okay, so I was right in that you literally didn't justify it at all. <laughs> uh, like they, they make z absolutely zero justification as to why they make that decision. And again, I won't say what it is, um, but if you've beaten it, you might, you might honestly be able to guess what I'm talking about. Uh, because I think, I think it probably comes to mind for a lot of people and it's just, oh, it's so anger inducing and then yeah and then there's a couple weird other weird things with the story um <clears throat> that i thought were just like really squandered in a weird way uh and then one of my biggest complaints with forbidden west is weirdly the combat balance um because 
The first game has an incredible combat loop, and Forbidden West does a lot of stuff to add to that and and like expand on that and make it overall more fun. <clears throat> but also at the same time, they make it really frustrating. Like they they I don't know they really fucked with the balance of it. I like I feel like they tried to put too much into it, and it kind of just like topples over under its own weight uh, in in certain occasions. Like so, if you don't know, Forbidden West introduces an arena mode um which if you if you've seen my ratchet and clank playthrough series you know that like with ratchet and clank which is a very like combat heavy game series when they introduced the arena modes it was like what like one of my favorite things about the whole series and that re that remains to this day i fucking love those arena modes in in the ratchet and clank games so when i heard that Horizon was getting an arena mode, which of course is an um, like an amazing idea because Horizon's combat is incredible and it's just this this wonderful back and forth of like fighting these fuck off huge robots with like sticks and bows and arrows and stuff and it's so satisfying and so fun. So when I heard that Forbidden West was getting an arena mode, I was like, "Hell yeah. That sounds great. I literally cannot wait. As soon as I unlock it, I'm gonna play it forever. So I unlocked it in the game and I started playing and it kind of sucks. Like I, I didn't enjoy it. Um, it like was mostly frustrating because just because of the way that they balanced the like robot attacks and the way that their attacks can track you and the amount and the, and the amount of attacks. And this was my main issue the amount of attacks that can put Aloy into like a stun stun lock state where this happened over and over again, where a, a, like a, a, an enemy would do an attack. Aloy would get hit, which is like getting hit is one thing, but then she would like fall over and it takes her like three to five seconds to get up off the ground. And it, honestly feels like for a lot of enemies there is no sort of in between where they actually are able to give you a chance to get up and like get away um so it would it would literally happen time and time again where i make like one one tiny mistake that leads to me getting hit with an attack and getting knocked over and stunned that's one thing but then before i'm even able to get up i would get knocked over again and again, and again, and some of the bigger enemies, I swear to God, there are some attacks where there is just straight up no way to dodge. Like there's a big, uh, there's a big, like, uh, like sea monster looking kind of robot. Um, like, like a Loch Ness monster looking kind of robot in the game. And it has an attack that it like does like a, like a, like a sprinkler and like circles really shitty water around it that hurts. It's called purge water, I think. Uh, and it, it like circles water around it in like, in like a big rotation, right? Which is hard enough to dodge just because it covers so much ground and it's so fast. But then if you put it in an arena setting, you're literally trapped in just like this little, like comparatively little circle. And you just like can't get out. You can't go anywhere. And so the the motherfucker does this attack and you just and you fall over and like you have no choice but to get hit it feels like um yeah no it's it's literally an situation uh so yeah the arena like so the thing about it is that Forbidden West has these weird like balance issues that I that I personally found to be a problem uh, when I was playing the game much more than zero than like it ever was with zero dawn. And I already thought the skill floor of zero dawn is weirdly high, but I, but I, but I like it. I like it anyway, because I think it's really satisfying to overcome that. Whereas with forbidden West, it feels like the skill floor is raised even higher for some reason, but in a, in a way that's too unfair and too balanced towards the enemies just being able to knock you around like a, like a fucking like paper bag. I don't know. I don't know. That's not a saying, but like, you know, just imagine it. Um, and like, 
in 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 the normal game, it's enough of a problem. But specifically in the arena mode, it's like really exacerbated because you're in this just like small arena and you like you can't really like escape anywhere. And there's there's not as many places to like use your new like uh like movement mechanics, like the grapple shot, because like some arena battles, this is fucking insane. Some arena battles. I kid you not, start with places to use like your, your grapple shot and get like verticality on the enemies, right? Like they start with places to do that in the arena. Every single time I entered an, an arena challenge that had like a pole or something that I could grapple onto, within the first five seconds of the fight, it would get destroyed. So like by the time you're like like less than a minute into the fight, Every single verticality option in the arena is gone because these fucking robots are insane and they will just smash everything. And so it's just they're useless because they're not even there anymore. Uh, and so like all of that is gone. All of that stuff that's normally in the open world and normally helps you fight these things and like get a leg up despite the weird balance is gone in the arena mode. So that was really disappointing. Um <laughs> that's all that was a whole that turned into a whole different rant than i expected uh and then yeah my last like big issue other again other than like getting into spoilery story stuff which i'm not going to get into right now um my last big issue with forbidden west is aloy not necessarily her character in the story although i have like a couple maybe like minor gripes about that but it's but her talking in the overworld her voiceovers as you're playing the game. Oh my god, I have I have <laughs> I have never, never, ever, ever. No, that's not true. I've played one game that made me as mad as some of the uh overworld dialogue in Forbidden West made me. You wanna know what that other game was? Ratchet and Clank 2016. One of the most <laughs> handholdy overly talkative games I have ever played in my life. And I swear to God, Forbidden West gives it a run for its money. Um, it's, <laughs> it is, it's infuriating. It's infuriating. Um, and it's infuriating in multiple ways. It's infuriating in multiple ways. Because one, it's not just Aloy talking. It also comes through in the UI design, which has some of the weirdest... Decision making I have <laughs> I have seen in UI design in a long time. Um I want to hold on. I wanna like I wanna show you this because this this was like oh oh I can actually I can show you this on the PlayStation. Hold on. Let me let me pull it up. I I took like a screenshot one point that that I that I showed Joy and asked her this same question that I'm about to ask you. Um so let me let me open up the media gallery and see if I can find it really quick, because this is this is a small thing, but I think it really speaks to the the issues with the UI design in this game. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Actually, I straight up don't know if I can find it. Uh, here, hold on. Let me, let me put something on screen so I'm not just sitting here. Uh, no, that's outer world stuff. I didn't start the game until, yeah, okay, this is really early. No, I have it somewhere. Oh, 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 got it, got it, got it, okay. Go back down. Okay, okay, found it, found it. So, um... Do you, do you, so look at the UI here. Do you want to take a guess as to what the problem is? And it's something that, that took a second to stick out to me. I will say your, your initial thought is of course to, to go for the big oxygen low no, notification, which in and of itself is not the problem. Although I will say it's a part of it. What's in the bottom middle? What is that? That's a good point. So, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you, just for just for pacing's sake. That bar 
at the bottom of the screen is an oxygen bar <laughs> that when you enter the water is full and as you swim gets lower so tell me why the fuck <laughs> they are putting an oxygen low indication at the top of my screen when there is already a UI element that is literally designed to tell me that my oxygen is low. By the bar being low and almost out. It makes no sense to me. And this is this is just like a little I and you know, I'm I'm hamming it up a little bit for performance purposes. It actually doesn't make me this mad, but it makes me mad enough that I noticed it and I took a screenshot of it because it's not just this, okay? It's not just this. This is a microcosm and just a small parallel example of all of the other UI and tutorialization problems that this game has, which are completely non-optional. You like even on the hardest difficulties, you cannot remove shit like this. Um and this comes through not only in UI elements that are constantly tutorializing you over and over again. Over like 50 hours into the game, I was still getting tutorial messages about mechanics I learned in the first hour. Not only that, but also Aloy herself will constantly butt in no matter what you are doing. And here's the thing, here's the thing. I don't mind characters talking about what they're doing. I really don't mind voiceover. I think that Aloy expressing her opinions about what's going on is perfectly reasonable. And like, obviously she's, she's a character that Gorilla clearly wants to be talkative and like, and, and like talk about her feelings on things as they're happening. Like even in one of the first like E3 trailers for Horizon Zero Dawn, they added a bunch of like Aloy voiceover lines that aren't in the final game because like they really couldn't be. Um, so it's clear that from the get go, they've they've wanted her to be like this, this character that talks to herself a lot, which is fine. That's fine. That's fine. The problem, the problem is that there's a there there you have to find a balance i think personally i believe there needs to be a balance between you know doing something that is like artistic intent and 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 intent with the with the character's personality but also like just not irritating and frustrating your players who just sometimes want to be left alone and play a game like just sometimes i would like it if i didn't walk into a puzzle room in Forbidden West, and I kid you not, immediately within the first minute of being the room, of being in the room, Aloy tells me exactly what I need to do. This happens over and over again. You will walk into a room where there is a there is a, a small like action adventure game style like small kind of easy puzzle, and it's easy. It's really easy. So you know, I would figure it out in like in like less than a couple minutes. It would take no time at all. But Aloy doesn't even give me a chance. She literally, like, there, there was there was a puzzle where I swear every single step, it was like I was following like a walkthrough on YouTube. Like I, like I, I could have sworn I was listening to like a tutorial on YouTube about how to do this puzzle, but I wasn't. I was just playing the game. Um, and 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 of course it's it's not so it's tutorialization, but it's also weird shit like like throughout the entire game there's this stash mechanic where you can like store um store materials and like berries like health healing berries and stuff in the game and they introduced in this new game they introduced a new mechanic called your stash which basically is just like like a big box that's in settlements that you can go to that stores all of your overflow items so anything that you don't have enough inventory space to carry on your person out in the open world is sent to your stash in a settlement. So if you ever like run out of medicinal berries, which you use to heal yourself, if you ever run out of those when you're in the open world, um, you can like go back to a settlement and just go to your go to your stash and just quickly refill on berries that you found but didn't have the inventory space to carry at the time. 
So, that's great. That's it's it's a really good mechanic. It makes the game so much less painful in terms of like inventory management. It literally is such a good quality of life mechanic. It's awesome. I love it. However, there's a small annoyance, and it's a small annoyance that adds up over like 80 plus hours of game, where every like maybe five to 10 things that are added to your stash. And it's and, and you add a lot of things there. Like you, like if, if you're playing the game like I do at least, you, there there's a lot of picking up things off the ground and things being sent to your stash. Um, every like five to 10 things, Aloy says a voice line reminding you that yes, it is going to be sent to your stash. Um, so I swear to God, I just have like all of these like Aloy stash voice lines burned in my head and they are going to appear in my nightmares for years to come. <laughs> mm, no room on me. I can send it to my stash. Mm, packs full, but my stash has room. It's just stuff like that over and over and over and over again for the entire game. It never stops. Um, however, they did just apparently tone down the stash voice lines specifically in the most recent update. But the thing about it is that it's not just the stash lines. Like the stash lines are were a problem, yes, they were particularly annoying, but the rest of it is also a problem. And it's just, it's a weird, it's a weird, again, this oxygen low screenshot is, is, a, is a perfect example of like how I really feel like rampant tutorialization and interruption, tr like it goes beyond being handholding. It truly affects and negates positive experience with the game, I think, at least in my case. Um, like it, like it, there are a lot of games that are a little bit too tutorially, yes, but a lot of the time I don't get like upset about that kind of shit just as long as it's fun. But the problem is that with Forbidden West, even though it's fun, this kind of shit was so frequent and and just so uh, egregious that like it 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 stood out to me. It stood out to me where I took this screenshot and I showed it to Joy and I was like, "Can you fucking tell me what's wrong with this? Because I know what's wrong with it, and I just need to know if anyone else agrees with me that this is really really weird UI design." I don't understand. <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> it's just this one is a particularly funny one. This one is a particularly funny one because it really makes no sense to me. Like you already have a UI element right there. I can see my oxygen's low. You're already telling me my oxygen's low. You made it. You made it that way. <laughs> Why do you have to put this big fucking thing on screen? I don't know. I, I, I'm trying not to be mean because like, obviously I respect the amount of work that went into this game. I know this shit's not easy. Like this game took fucking five years to make. Like I get it. It's, 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 and it's really good. All that being said, I really enjoyed my time with it. Um, but it's just, these, it's, it's all the, it's all these little things that really like just fucking just complicated my experience with it in a way that like, I was kind of disappointed to see after five years. Okay, God, <laughs> sorry, I <laughs> just my energy. Oh boy, that was a that was a more negative intro than I wanted to have. Uh, but hey, I got that fifty eight minutes in. <laughs> oh man. Also, thank you to all the all the people who have subscribed in the meantime. Uh, Dark Web, uh, Dark Web Prosciutto. Thank you so much. And of course, all the others that I, I missed while I was ranting about uh, Forbidden West weird UI and tutorialization stuff. We're gonna get into Jack and Daxter in just a second. Don't feel that was negative at all. No, it was negative. It was negative. But I, I just, I, 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 I do want to obviously say that like any any negativity is of course never ever 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 directed to the people who actually like work on this shit, like. Cause I understand, and obviously, like it's it's very easy to to you know be mad about something you're experiencing, but like to to be able to to put yourself out there and like actually make something is 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 a whole different story, and I I think is a lot more deserving of respect. So like, 
you know, that's that's not to say I don't think that's not to say I don't think criticism is worthy of respect in its own right. But like, just in terms of like, yeah, I, I like I, I no 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 upset towards anyone personally. And obviously, I fucking I, I it seems that this game is is a big success so far. Uh, a lot of people are playing it and enjoying it, and that's fucking great. Quick, you got five seconds to hit X. Why? Oh, but before we hit an hour? Wait. I don't understand. <laughs> What's the five seconds? The PS5 will now self-destruct. Oh, shit! Yeah, why did I have a gun? <laughs> that was weird. It didn't it didn't explode. It took out a gun and shot me. It's still on screen. <laughs> that was weird. That was a weird thing that happened. Cuz the the PS5 can do every anything. That's why. No, that's the PS3. That was the PS3 thing. It only does everything. Don't you know? That was the PS3's thing. Here. I'll show you. I'll prove it. You need me to prove it, right? You need me to stall more? Yeah, okay, cool. I'll prove it. Oh, shit. I can't download it only does everything.jpg securely. Do I really want to put a virus on my computer before playing Jack and Daxter a hit game? I'm not gonna put a virus on my computer. I'm not, chat, I'm not. <laughs> Jerma voice, no chat, I'm not putting a virus on my computer. I'm not. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's, <laughs> sorry. Let's do <laughs> Riddle. Oh my god, he was scratching his butt like some kind of rascal would do. Look at him go! Okay, question. Was this actually Naughty Dog's logo back when this game first came out? Because if so, they have had the same logo for an impressive amount of time. And honestly, I could use some of that energy in my life. I change my shit all the time. I need that confidence. Naughty Dog, whatever you got, I want it. It is, it's a really good logo. It's a really good logo. All right. So, here's the question. Which one? Can we run a poll? Oh wait, we already, we already have a poll running for virus, yes or no. 85%. 69 people, hell yeah, voted for virus. Um, but uh, fuck you, I make my own decisions and uh, you uh, like factor uh, not at all into my life and that's... <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> let's get the... <laughs> Let's get actually it's cropped. Wait, what? What's what's cropped? Which one? 14 by 9 or 14 by 9? That's not the right one. Oh no, my parasocial connection is gone. <laughs> oh man. Listen, I just you know sometimes you just gotta set that line. <laughs> But it's 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 very important because you know it's a slippery slope, you know? 
first year, first year, you know, flagrantly telling your audience like you love them, and then next thing you know, you're listening to them when they tell you to put viruses on on your computer, and it's just like <laughs> sixteen by nine is cropped. Is it cropped or is it just stretched? Because I feel like there's a difference. But like, but I would four by three. I honestly think I would personally rather do just because I don't, I don't like the stretching either. Did you put the virus in your computer though? No. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Hope you did. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> Crop, you can see those stars at the top in 4x3, but not in 16x9. What? Oh, shit. Yeah, no, you're, you're totally right. Why? Huh? What? Okay, so we're definitely doing four by three. Also, it's just more classic that way. It's just more classic that way. I like it because it's more classic that way. And I like things that are classic. Vlasic. Pickles. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, is it just me or is, are these sound effects playing in only one ear and like it's seriously about to give me a panic attack? <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're good. We wanna get going? Let's get going. <laughs> I wish to overwrite my, my past, yes. Every day of my life. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, <laughs> Wait, I need my 3D remember. glasses. <laughs> the plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do Was not that a recall. thing for this game? Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy, oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. I don't want to be mean, but this other guy, Daxter, already so just kind of looks the like an animal. Begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. I can't say, what do you mean I can't say that? It's true, he like doesn't look like like, like, he looks, he already looks close enough to the thing he turns into that, like, it's weird. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. The locals possess That's a person? He's all ones and zeros to me. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Damn. Yeah, they, yeah, they got booba like crazy. What are we doing here anyway, <laughs> Jack? This place gives me the creeps. This ain't your dad's crash bandicoot. I mean, <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the it's time. It's like loud. Where did they go? Why did they build this crap? Now I like precursor. <laughs> oh, they said crap. As much as the next guy. Holy shit, but this game's edgy. Me, they must have been real losers. Wow. Losers. <laughs> oh, I love his voice performance. That's so good. <laughs> Thoughts on 
Kim and Fong think they may be a tweet about the admin announcing danger to someone so you get to him in his DMs? Oh, uh, it's pretty cool. I, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It, that, that stung. There he is! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? <laughs> so, yeah, so... Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> God, the animation is so cool. They, like, for this era of game, this shit is really impressive. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. <laughs> and then we... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping. Actually, this is just my first suit! In my opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. How far to the north? Far, to far there, to the north. Pretty far. Either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoom equipped with a heat shield. Another I lady. I happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand <laughs> the canyon's Fuck heat. Fuck off. Isn't that right, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? <laughs> Jesus the Christ! Villagers. Most of them have a power cell. They're so which mean to each other. Somewhere. I knew it. I like. I knew that it was that way, though. Them away. Greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds, just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! <laughs> I wanna... I wanna believe that Jack... is really quiet. Well, actually, you know, I say I wanna believe. I don't want to believe this, but my headcanon is that Jack is very quiet uh, just because he doesn't have the heart to just, like, to spar with the rest of them verbally. Like, he doesn't want to be so fucking mean to everybody, but they ha they know no other way of communicating. Oh, the music. Okay, hold on. All right, so now we're in it. Um, okay, so... I, I, may, I may not know a whole lot about this game, and obviously we're going to change that. But what I do know, based on the little bit that I've seen and played, and uh, YouTube videos I've watched, is that the fucking animation, and I already talked about this a little bit in the cutscenes, but in the gameplay as well, look at this shit. Like, it's just literally unbelievably good. Like, what the fuck? This is, this is like, like of a completely different level than a lot of what was coming out at the time. So good. Uh, okay, so that little that little robot was following me around and said something, and the problem is that I didn't listen. And you know what? That might be a that, that might be a recurring theme, and we're just gonna ha kind of have to live with it. Uh, and whatever. <laughs> Daxter is carrying that stretch animation. Yeah, yeah. Daxter, uh, Daxter's. Holy shit. <laughs> Daxter's, like, physical reactions to everything you do are so interesting to look at. Cause cause he he stretches like crazy compared to Jack, who's who's pretty pretty subdued in comparison, even though he does have a lot of his own squatch and stretch going on. These floating egg-shaped things. 
beings are precursor Eggs. orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. God damn it. Shut up, Acronis! That has nothing to do with the game. It's just like when those sounds keep playing because uh, Acronis True Cloud is telling me that my backup is full. And I'm like, yeah, I know. That's the point. It's a backup of my entire computer's hard drive. Fuck you. You got like a, you got a, you got, you got purple clothes. Fuck you. Oh my God, Steph. Sorry. It keeps happening. It keeps happening over and over again. It keeps just playing the little dun -dun sound. And I'm just like, I'm streaming. Don't bother me. Wow. That is, that's the loudest sound I've ever heard in my life. Hold on. Wee. Oxygen low. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Shit. I oh. This is a power cell. <laughs> it wouldn't let me hit him. Important precursor artifact you can find. It stopped my violence. Twenty of these, so I can power the heat shield for your a grab zoomer. Penny, are you a Jackster or a Dax? Uh, I'm a Jackass. <laughs> Okay. Woo! Please do not remove the memory card PS2 and. Penny, you better be on Jackass. I literally could never do anything like that. I. I. Like, I hate it when, like, my tummy hurts. <laughs> I get really upset when my tummy hurts. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna fucking, like. Sometimes throw myself into a pit of scorpions to break one of these boxes you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it like that first. what is that little guy hey hey you found one of my scout flies i sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells for the, the snappiest of cubes hopes this helps much love whoa that's Smile. 50 dollars holy shit thank you able baby thank you <laughs> Oh my god, I appreciate that. Okay, so... One, one, one thing that's a little weird is that sometimes it feels like the controls just straight up don't register. And I don't know if that's a thing with the game proper or a... Whoa! Pizza Suplex with a rate of 121! Hi, Pat! Thank you! We're playing Jack and Jackster! Uh, this is my first time... I'm start. I'm gonna play the, the main, the main trilogy, three games. Uh, this is my first time playing this one. We like just started like a few minutes ago, so I'm still like right in the opening levels. <clears throat> and yeah, come come along if you'd like. We just got an egg, and that's how you do it, folks. Nothing to it. Wow, that last scout fly had a power cell. I know it's pretty I'll impressive. If you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, it's just my my threshold, my tolerance threshold for tutorials is a little shot right now. I hope you can understand. You to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. <laughs> this is this is Penny, and I'm gonna drink a little more water than usual. And this is Jackass. Cuts to Penny groaning and saying they regret doing that. <laughs> No, I, you, listen, you got one thing wrong. You got one thing wrong about that philosophy. I don't drink water. <laughs> what is, whoa, 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 speed. Speed, speed, speed. By the way, yeah, uh, uh, I, I, I did want to say I got distracted. Uh, because my brain broke, uh, but... Pat, if you're still hanging out, how'd your stream go? Again, I, I appreciate the raid. I don't, I don't know if you're still hanging around. If not, that's fine, but also. Ah! What the fuck? Oh, I'm just hanging out now. I'm just exploring. This is gonna be fun. Just wanna thank this game for telling me it's good to touch live electricity. I didn't need the game to tell me that. 
It was good, just Mountain Blade stuff. Hell yeah. Well, glad you had a good time. The water looks like jelly. Uh, kinda. You know, you know what? You know what? I, I, I feel like it kind of looks like, like curtains, <laughs> like satin curtains. Are curtains made? Uh, some there's gotta be a, a a pair of curtains made of satin somewhere out there, right? <laughs> Am I crazy? Is this an impossibility? Satan curtains. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good point. Those words do sound alike. I wonder how far you can swim out. I, I'm not, I'm not keen to try. I'm not keen to test it out. I feel like it doesn't matter. Got putting other ears way off in the skybox like that is exactly the kind of stuff that drove me wild as a kid. So exciting! It's really cool. It, yeah, no, it's 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 super super cool. Like it's it's one of those things where it doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's necessary until you, like it's 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 hard to imagine it without it just because it, it it adds so much even though I don't I don't know if it is a small thing really because that's like a whole that's a whole thing that someone had to do but also at the same time like you don't really it's one of those things that's hard to kind of miss it's 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 very easy to this just kind of run by it without really it can only ruminating on it. By See that island over there? Blue you can swim to it, but you can't. You can't, Alexa. That's a lie. That's literally a dishonesty. What did he say? I straight up wasn't listening, and I'm not afraid to admit that I don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh, it's probably one of these. Something, something, I'm blue. Fuck. There's a door, that's all he said. Okay, cool. I have ideas, and goals, and machinations. That didn't do shit. All right, cool, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I thought it would. It's just, I, I saw blue electricity, and I was like, oh, hey, there are actually a couple of those that I can eat. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Maximum eco! Woo! Oh! Oh, that my idea was right. <laughs> nice! Oh, look at him go. These are the boys. These are the boys. The blue eco caused the door to open. With blue eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds Oh, you can swim. <laughs> oh shit, you can you act you can you can swim swim. Okay. I didn't know that. Penny, do you have thoughts on the new Pokemon? Uh yes I do. Um So obviously I I've, I've talked about this before. I think I especially talked about it while I was playing and streaming Sword. Um but obviously, it goes without saying that I really just kind of wish Pokemon Company would give Game Freak, like, any more than a year. And at this point, what seems like, like, even half a year's worth of time to make a fucking game. But... Uh, that being said, it seems like clearly they are not interested in that. So, for the situation we are given, which is far from perfect, but given the situation... Um, I'm very excited about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, specifically just because Those little green balls of energy on I'm the uh, the rare person eco. who's wrong and actually really enjoyed Pokemon Sword. Ecos, like, I'm I'm the person that's ha that's brave enough to have, like, the wrong opinion about that game. Uh, and, like, the shitty one that, like, isn't true. Uh, I, I loved that game. <laughs> uh, I, I had such a fucking good time with Pokemon Sword. And, and, and this is what's especially weird about it. Uh, I liked it more than any other Pokemon game I have tried. 
So I think the thing with me is that I just don't like Pokemon when it's good. <laughs> I like I I genuinely I genuinely started to suspect that at a certain point. Like I think I just like Pokemon when it's bad and when it's good, it's not for me. Um which I'm fine with. You know, that's it's that's fine. Um because so many people did not like Sword and Shield. And, you know, for a lot of valid reasons, there, there are the shitty, like, oh, it looks ugly and that makes it a bad game kind of reasons that it's like, okay, well, whatever. But, like, you know, there there are a lot of... I, I mean, I know Joy played it and was pretty underwhelmed by it, so, like, I get it. Um, but anyway, I really love Pokemon Sword. And also, I haven't played a lot of it. I haven't even gotten to the second area, but I do really, really love what I've played of, of Arceus. Arceus? Yeah. Um... So, all that to say, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet looks like it's just gonna be like a combination of those two games, which are the only two Pokemon games that I like. <laughs> so, right. I'm, I think it's gonna island. be like kind of sick and Come I'm really excited about it. So I can bring you back to the lab. Hurry up. Whee! Let's go. Penny, what are your thoughts on Pong Remastered with the additional 78 reorchestrated songs? <laughs> Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges. I'll have a twit longer out about it by tonight. Hey, I understand no it's a pretty problem. contentious topic. We got the moves, AJ. <laughs> We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. Follow the lamps. Now, all of you, get out of here! Dude, we're like, we're going on like a whole mission. Like you're guiding us on like a whole mission. You gotta calm down. This guy fucking sucks. Some I'm gonna bother him. Brave adventurers you two are. Back already and without clearing my block eco harvesters. They're on the far oh. side of the beach, boys. <laughs> no. Get, Get out of here! Oh, yeah, okay. All right, yeah, cool. Got it. I assume this is the... This is it? It's the only place I can go. Is that, wait, sign, find the, oh, no, okay. Oh, that's not it. That's not where I go. Got it. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me out of here. Oh, can we get out? Yes, we can. Got it. All right. Sandover Village. Why would you put sand over a village? Wait a minute. Hold on. The thing that makes a village a village is that people are living in it. So if you put sand over it, then the people, they can't breathe anymore. So then, hey, if nobody's living in your village, because everybody's dead, <laughs> that, makes, that makes it not a, makes it not a village anymore. So technically, it's just sand over a pile of buildings. Case closed. Is that a Barry B impression? No, it's not a Seinfeld impression. It wasn't intended to be a Seinfeld impression. Maybe it was by accident, and I've accidentally just discovered I have like a passable Seinfeld impression. <laughs> Flies are always in red boxes. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. Who are you? Whoa, that camera. <laughs> oh, shit. Camera's gone rogue. It's on the attack. He's being underpaid, and I understand where he's coming from, but also, please don't kill me. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Dax's hints are amazing. Well, I, I at least hope they're <laughs> well balanced in terms of frequency. I swear to God, if, if I'm if I'm playing this game and I hear Daxter say, oh, well, <laughs> well, Jack, it seems your pouch is full, but your stash has room. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey, looks like you got no room on you. Gotta put things in your stash. <laughs> Chat by the... <laughs> Come and buy a pixelizer. Oh my god, his voice acting is so funny. Like like in a really good way. Like like I love I love his voice performance. It's so good. Just so fucking full of energy. Right. Shit. Treasure. Treasure. Hey look. No, no! That pelican just snagged a power cell! Yeah. Let's go kick some big bird butt! I thought he was gonna say ass for a second. I was expecting it. Yeah, maybe in Jack 2. <laughs> a girl can dream. <laughs> a girl can dream. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Yay! I, God, I love these animations. It's so All good. Right. Leave me alone, leave me alone. More orbs! More or orbs! So, I gotta say... Oh, this game doesn't feel bad to play, but I but like the core movement controls and everything, I feel like are a little weird. And again, I don't know if it's just an issue with the with the port or something. Um, but like it's a li it's a little clunky. But like but not not in a way that's going to bother me too much over time. It's just I'm dead. That looks like it hurt. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Up? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that just scared the hell out of me. I don't know why, like, it just... Penny Parker, looks like you suck at this game. Like, oh my, like, what the fuck? <laughs> don't talk to me. There's supposed to be a disconnect between me and the fictional world. It's literally a Daxter jump scare. Last thing you see before you die is Daxter leaning over your body telling you how bad it sucked. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you really bungled this one up, kid. Yeah. Dead at 23. How pathetic. At least you still got insurance. The dog always scared me so much as a kid. The dogs? Oh, these things? That's funny. They kind of look like Neopets. <laughs> Whoa! I love, I love these guys. What the hell? Yeah, this is before we decided it wasn't cool to have dogs as enemies. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Video games to this day have enemy dogs. And you know what? I prefer it that way. Can we get an exclamation point dog kill in the chat, please? <laughs> Last of Us 2. Yeah, yeah. Hey, chat, for the record, I loved killing the dog in Last of Us Part 2. I thought it was actively fun. <laughs> oh, 
Holy fish paste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that got me. <laughs> just, just, just people, people in real life outside of Bikini Bottom, fucking using that phrase unironically, is probably the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Jury still out. <laughs> with rats that in and of itself hey hey i mean that uh, get paid for it sure did i say in and of itself i so i can't talk lately and i hope that's okay you know i saw as someone whose like career and livelihood like fully relies on her voice being something that i can use her voice being something i can use i switch tenses mid-sentence uh because this is a tense situation <laughs> What's um what's down here? It's a puddle of water. We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. Let's get back and make the switch already. How are you gonna make the Let's switch? The Nvidia wasn't invented yet. At this point in in human history, on Earth. doing the robot, and I think that's pretty funny. I feel like the robot is probably the, like, in terms of, like, the, like, okay, so, you know, dance and the art of dance doesn't need, like, like a practical utility. Um, because obviously it's art, you know? Like, not, not all art needs to be practical in order to be valuable. Uh, that's a trophy get, but a trophy, uh, uh, emote. If you're subscribed, you can use the trophy emote, put it in chat. Um, obviously, you know, art doesn't need to be, like, practical in order to be valuable. But if we're talking practicality, I think that the robot is probably gonna amount to being the most useful dance. Um, when, like, the Google AIs take over. And like, you know, everything's kind of fucked because we're all like, you know, like, like robo-pocalypse kind of stuff. Like, what if you, like, if you want to just like go out to maybe like Kroger and just like get some roast beef. Like you're out of roast beef or something and you just want to go out and like get some roast beef. You like, you don't want you don't want, you don't want to have to be worrying about whether or not like they're going to track you, you know? So like, I think being able to camouflage by sort of like um, signaling like, hey, I'm one of you. You don't even have to think about me. Um, then I, I, yeah, I just don't know. I just think it's gonna be really helpful uh, when that comes around. Like when, when my project is done and, and those days like happen, I think that's gonna be really, really useful. And I just wanted to give you all a heads up just given where I, like, know things are going and, and like, uh, kind of how, how the project has been coming along, um, I think it's really important that I, I, I did my due to, like, like, warn y'all ahead of time that, like, 
you want to get in on the ground floor with the, with the robot and like uh you want to like you want you want to make sure you got that in like your back pocket wait what why did that not come up on my stream elements events thing Scariest, scary things. I don't know what you're talking about. I really don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, Penny. You saved my life. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing. Is I just think it's valuable information. If you don't have enough room, yes, you can put it in your stash. You time out. You get a time out. You get a time out. Not actually, but you get a time out mentally. What the fuck? Step one, stay alive. Step two, think about not doing something like that again. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love that. Did I lose everything? Wait. Okay, I got that. Got that, got that. Yeah, we're all good. Chase the seagulls. I'm a little like... This game, like some some of what's going on in this game is like one ear out the other with me. <laughs> like I'm, I'm like I'm I'm just kind of running around, and I think that's kind of what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Like I'm having a good time, but I'm just I'm just hanging, you know. Let's. I wanna. What are you all about? What's your deal? No, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the freaks I hear are <laughs> signings near the village, and now this. Fuck! What an entrance. See, those up there, boy. See them. See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. Village. The eco beam coming from the jungle. <laughs> this is a human up. veggie tail. Oh my god, he does it. He has the same eye style. And find out what's happened. Whoa. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Big idea oh, looking motherfucker. You're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. Oh, and his head kind of looks like Jimmy Gord as well. You're interested in making a Literally, if you took away his hat, his human body, and all of the hair on his head, he would just fucking be Jimmy Gord. Oh, I'm very modest. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. <laughs> they look identical. They look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bring 90 orbs to the bear. Got it. Oh fuck. How many how many do we have? Oh we have wait, wait. Wait, 90. 90. Okay, orbs are the eggs, right? So you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. Which one and did I shoot? The one I hope. You! <laughs> it's a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. <laughs> is this what a VTuber is? Uh, actually, yes. I, I live with one, so I can tell you, yes. Uh, VTubers, VeggieTales, same thing. Same thing. We got we got an, got another precursor thing, right? Or did we not? Wait, what did we get for that? I truly like my brain doesn't work straight up. Like I like I, there's a problem. Um, three seven scout flies. Hi there, Buzzball. 
Get the big mayor. Yeah, <laughs> rig me to, yeah. Yeah, 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 very similar bit. I'll never get re-elected now. Shit, I meant to hit you. And without fixing the eco beams? <laughs> Your village needs you, boys. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. I adore this guy. What the hell? All right, we got three of these. Mm -mm. Why don't I um? Yes, let's see. Let's see. What we got. Get the power cell from the pelican. Oh yeah, chase the seagulls. So the pelican, yeah, took that shit and ran away. But we didn't really do anything about it. Where did it go? I, I I honestly, for the life of me, can't remember where it went. Oh, but that looks like something over there. Explore some of that. What a Woo! weird looking thing! I'll bet we can get this open if you power up with that zappy blue eco stuff. Get, wait, get what open? Whoa! Oh shit! Oh that! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! No! Ah! Damn it. <laughs> we just get just absolutely crushed. Okay. Well, that's that's something. That's a thing we did. Yay. Neat. Woo! So there's a lot of villager characters, I assume. I assume these guys will have a lot of like things for me to do, so. Gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh. Shut up. Just it's freaking me out. Bones. I've been trying to get those unre yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get them back into the corral? Yeah, I can do. Some of the, some of these characters just like. Just give me, like, just small panic attacks. They just give me anxiety. Just, like, calm down. Like, you don't have to, like... Like, you don't have to be so extra. And I'm saying that to them. Like, this this game is just completely rewriting everything I thought I knew about myself. Fire Canyon. Sounds fun. Let's go. Oh shit! You don't have enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. You can't cross Fire Canyon until you collect enough power cells. Okay, I was not expecting that to be seamless. What? That's really cool. Okay, well let's head back then. All right, I think I think I kind of I think I'm I'm, I'm kind of starting to get what's going on here. I think I'm kind of starting to understand what's going on here. <clears throat> I think I'm starting to get the structure of this. This is some kind of collectathon platformer. Where'd the music go? <clears throat> weird, 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 <laughs> weird, weird, weird. Oh god! Oh god! What is this? Whoa! This is so cool. I'm, I'm having a good time just fucking running around. Uh, Elden Ring who? Whoa, the, like the, the way the camera changed? This is awesome. Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh, so where are we at right now? The Forbidden Jungle. Unlock the Eco Beam. Oh, is that... That's what the guy wanted us to do. Whoa. God, this is... Oh, this is... This is fucking cool. <laughs> I really like this so far, actually. I was not expecting this.
Nothing. Whoa! Oh, no, no thank you. <laughs> oh shit! I did not realize that was an attack. That'll do me good. That'll do me good in the days ahead. There's lots of potential. Shit, oh my god. I only got three of those. Ooh. The way, the way that metal was like clanking alongside the music was pretty neat. Okay. Um. Fuck. Oh my god, what? Whoa! Oh, come on, Daxter. It's, it's, it's... Listen. Let's get up on that machine and break the mirror diverting the precursor beam. You're on my stream. It's my job to make those kinds of noises, okay? You don't understand how important this is to me. <laughs> this is how I survive. Oh, I think I get it. Hold on. I see. He's mimicking you? Ah, I see. Well, I guess... Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Oh shit, no, wait, I should have done the ah oh, fuck. Those God damn it. Those hickey scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with him. Oh no. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I should have gone through that door first. I meant to do that. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, press circle to use. Line up the beam <gasps> by pointing it at the next tower. Wait. Wait, can I? Wait. Oh, I don't... Oh, it actually might not matter. Hold on. Hey! We can follow the beam to find the next tower. We can follow the beam! Let's fucking go! We, we, we didn't even need to follow the beam. It's right there. Also, the beam is actually, in this case, less visible than the tower itself because there are no camera controls to look up. Oh, unless you, uh, like, I guess there's like a, there's a button somewhere that you can press for it. But wait, it's not, well, it's not even working here. Never mind. You, you can't look up. Oh, never mind, you can. I don't know why that wasn't working for a second. Whoa, whoa. There it is. Let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam there. I love beams. This is this is a great because I love games that have beams in them. That's why I love Portal 2 so much. Like that—that that is the sole reason I like Portal 2 so much. Everything else, I, I could—I could give or take. Wait, is that? Did I say that right? Is it everything? I—I I died! Yay! I was right behind you, Jack. Really, I was. <laughs> Just makes fun of you. <laughs> he bullies you. I'm kind of getting a taste of my own medicine here. Did it keep my progress? It's hard to tell, because I can't see shit. Okay, it did, because I can't use this anymore. Keep all progress when you die. That kind of fucking rules, actually. So it's it's literally just like a like a uh, like a displacement uh, penalty.
enjoy it while you can, Penny? What does that mean? It's horrifying. <laughs> enjoy it while you can, Penny. The FBI is on its way. <laughs> Savor freedom before you are uh, intimately familiar with captivity. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I like I couldn't. Where to? Oh, looks like the next tower is up there. Oh, here we go. Those snakes are my sleep paralysis demons. I'm sorry to hear that. The monsters that unbid me ship will drive me broke. What? Who was that? <laughs> huh? Hold on. Who are you? <laughs> Do me a favor and keep away from those dark eco boxes. Got it. Thanks for the tip, bud. We straight up, we literally have a backseat gamer in game right now on our actual back. Which is as, cl as close to a, a backseat as you can get uh, in a world that currently doesn't have any visible cars. Currently, I say, knowing what's coming. Aloy was voiced by Daxter. I kind of made that joke earlier in, in less specific terms. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Love that. Love that for me. It's like, uh, it's like harder to double jump than I wish it would be. Is that... Wait. It's down there. Bing bong, bing bong, bing. This is a, this is big uh, bing bong moments music, you know? This music's got some some big like climactic moments of bing bong. It's very uh, it's very pots and pans core. <laughs> like that scene from High School Musical too. <laughs> You're the first person I've seen this playing this lately who doesn't just roll jump everywhere. It's refreshing. Who's yeah, because I just double jump everywhere instead. Okay, listen, now that you've said that, <laughs> I'm sorry. I like it is very it is very fun to get around with it, but like I don't I don't know why I would do it like in the tighter platforming sections. Kind of seems reckless. See? Like, they're like, why? <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Hey, Pan, you hear about the composer for this music? He was a one-man pan.
All right, chat. Murder, murder mystery. You have two prime suspects. Knowing what you know based on the beginning of the stream, there's only one remaining question, and I think you know what it is. The killer. Was it me? Or the PS5? <laughs> Do you get it? That shit's funny. We need to charge you up with that blue stuff to get this open. PS5 doesn't have a motive, though. How do you know that? I feel like PS5 has uh, plenty of motive. It's, uh, it's what? It's, um, interested in providing uh, the best gaming experiences to everyone. And, um... Hey, there's little lightning marks on those posts, and there's lightning coming out of that vent over there. <laughs> and there's lightning coming out of your ass! Penny, can you put the virus on screen? Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, here, here, let me know. Here he is. <clears throat> we need to get to the top of that tower. Do I have to get to the top in the allotted time that I have the blue? Uh oh. Well, I guess we'll never know. Hi, Mickey Mouse. How's it going? <laughs> It's going pretty great. We need blue eco to charge this platform up. Hi, hey, Penny, it looks like you need blue eco to charge this. Shut the fuck up, Mickey Mouse. Hey, I, uh, I'm, well, I'm sorry if I, I know I didn't anyway. It's just, yeah, yeah, you did. I said I'm sorry. I don't accept. But, but Penny. What? I am the mouse. It was me! <laughs> it was me all along! It's me, Austin! It was me all along! <laughs> Wait, this isn't the orb. Man, it, honestly, can I can I be real? Can I be real about my uh, my thoughts and my feelings? Really fucking bothers me that the that what they call orbs in this game are eggs. It really bothers me that what they call orbs in this game are eggs. If you're gonna put eggs in your game, be be straight with me. Be upfront. Call them eggs, okay? I'm sick of this shit because you know what? I love eggs. I love eggs, and I can do without orbs. That's false advertising. This is Ben Shapiro. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> no. Uh oh. Fuck. Penny gets sentence mixed into saying that she loves eggs. Yes, but do not take that as me, uh, uh, cl like, claiming a falsehood. Uh, because I do, in fact, love eggs, and I'll say so very humanly and naturally, uh, if you ask me to. Can 
Can you please say it humanly and naturally? No, fuck off. I don't do what people ask me to do. What the fuck? That's literally, listen, I don't mean to call you out. That's weirdly parasocial <laughs> of you to do. I'm sorry for gaslighting. Yeah, you were gaslighting. <laughs> That's what you were doing. Wow, did you see that? Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. There must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. enthusiastic yell when he descends into the void is sending me. Sending you where? To... Toledo? UPS Express Shipping? <laughs> Someone get the virus off of my screen! <laughs> I knew it would do that if I jumped while I was landing on it. I didn't know I only had to jump through it. Fuck. Literal jump kick. Oh my god. I hate that that's funnier than anything I've said this entire stream. Hello! <laughs> you look wacky! <laughs> oh my god. That one guy is Jimmy Gordon, witness protection. This guy's a rejected VeggieTales character. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Just a random boss fight? This is so cool! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. I'm trapped. God damn. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Great. Awesome. Whoa. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. I gotta do it. I have to do it. Fuck. <laughs> what is happening tonight, Penny? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> I swear to God, I God, I've had a weird day, y'all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I record I recorded more Elden Ring today, and I just wasn't in it. <laughs> like this shit, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's been a weird one. <laughs> I'm trying to sustain the energy as best as I can. Woo! I just died. Except I didn't. But uh, part of my soul died. Don't eat me up. I don't taste like the eggs that are around here. I'm like, uh, stretcher? Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> That's, those, those are cute. I like those a lot. Guys, oh my god, you know what I, you know what it is? Oh my god, I just realized. Guys, oh my god. Guys, I think I just realized what it is. I think Mercury is in retrograde. I think, <laughs> I think someone put mercury in my food, cause that's what that means, right? I'll say something really 
Terry at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get changed back now? Well, Daxter, the funny thing is that knowing what I know, uh, I actually know for a fact that this mission to change you back is futile for some reason. Obviously, I don't know the details of why, but I know that, you know, in future games and even your self-titled video game, you are still this little crazy animal creature. So, like, maybe get off my ass about it, yeah? Because it's not going to happen. It's very similar to, you know, asking Game Freak to take more than three, like two or three years on a Pokemon game. It's just never gonna happen. We don't live in a world where that's possible. Fuck. <laughs> I had so many goals, you know? I had so many plans for that run. That would, that, you know, if that was the run that eventually finished the game from that point, it was gonna be really special. Now we're stuck with the bullshit run. It's gonna be the worst stream of all time. Watch this, it's gonna suck. It, am I am I actually hitting him or like cuz that registers really weirdly Fuck <laughs> Stop <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, there, there's no way I didn't just hit him there What the fuck? <laughs> Hitbox on that! The range! The range! Whoa! Whoa. What, why does the scream straight up sound like it's coming through a Game Boy Advance? I hope that, um... I hope that the Switch 2 is called the Switch Advanced. Not the Switch Advance. The switch advanced. I hope it's called the bottom. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Why lie? I swear to God, Windows, if you try to tell me about one more thing, I'm installing Linux. No, you aren't. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> Fucking never. The, the only... The only Linux machine that is allowed in this fucking household is the Steam Deck. Woo! Yeah, we got another trophy. Ooh, ooh, these drums. Damn, Penny hates Android phones. Yes, I do. <laughs> I hate phones. Yeah, I just hate phones in general. I don't actually hate Android phones. Uh, okay, well... We did a boss fight. What next? Oh, yeah. Return of the mayor. Awesome. Uh... Man, we gotta, like, find our way back. Ew. Ew. What the fuck? I hate it when games don't tell me things. What the hell? Is this even a video game if there's no tutorial? Ha, ha, ha. 
boxes are say good night jack this whole fucking game is say good night jack i said it i'll say it again if you ask me nicely if you ask me nicely i'll say it again Can you say it again, pretty please? What the fuck? Have y'all learned nothing? I am never gonna do what anyone asks me to do. I swear to God, I think I, like... We've been over this. I'm s <laughs> this is, the, like, the meanest bit I've done in a while. <laughs> y'all, you have to do the opposite. Yeah, it's opposite day! It's opposite day. <laughs> <laughs> it's opposite day. I love my fans. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just <laughs> just finding any any sort of like language to be like the worst person of all time. I think is so funny. <laughs> I'm so I <laughs> I'm so I'm starting to really hate that the ongoing bit for this stream is just just like a like like the actual like toxic opposite of like parasocial uh encouragement <laughs> which is literally just fucking like just being an asshole oh look secret wow look at that parasocial <laughs> you got it you got it you got it good cows you did it The game's getting to you, Penny. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, I didn't I didn't realize how much it like tonally fits. Oh no. Guys. This stream is good night, Jack. Wow. Does anyone want to see the phantom virus again? <clears throat> Arkham Asylum on YouTube posted the phantom virus tribute four months ago. <laughs> With 22k views. I play this game, yeah, this game of fame to make a virtual reality come to life in mortality. It ain't so little. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep watching. I can't keep watching. Because I'm going to keep laughing. And I feel like someone put a lot of work into this. And I don't want to be mean. But like, it just I just wasn't expecting that. I was expecting like an AMV. Like, <laughs> I was... <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Fuck. <sighs> mm-mm. Let the man speak. Hey, listen, y'all, please feel free to go watch on your own time. I encourage you. All right! You found all the scout flies in this area. 
Oh, I th oh, scout flies, got it. Stream where you make an AMV when? Oh, that's actually a really fucking tempting idea. Would anyone watch that? Straight up, would y'all watch that? Cause like, I, I kind of want to do that. I, I, I used to make like fairly odd parents AMVs as a kid over like skillet songs. Like that shit was, that shit is my childhood. I do not know where I'm going. <laughs> can, like, can I be real? I don't, I don't know where I'm going. Is it over here maybe? Please use a Nightcore edit for the song. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, you are a genius. <laughs> my god, you are a little evangelical baby. <laughs> It's like a like a Twitter bully. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, fuck. Oh my god. Wow. Check out that funky sculpture sitting on a rock over there. He <laughs> said, check out that funky sculpture shitting out rocks over there. Where? I have to see. Where? Now check out that funky sculpture shitting out rocks over there. Where? I don't know. I genuinely don't know where it is. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, this whatever. This must be a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Your mouth isn't moving. Die. Who awakens the oracle? <laughs> Wait. One of you has the light with Who awakens the oracle? From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs. I fucking love this voice. This is the best thing. <laughs> save, save me a slice. No. Stop. Trade me 120 orbs. That's too many orbs. Stop. That's too many power cells. Oh my god. You gotta bring in the cops for the drill right here. Wham! <laughs> really sniped them. Really sniped them there. Did y'all see that? That shit was epic. Stop. That's too many slices. I, I can't stop. I, that voice is so fun to do. Hey, bitch. Hold on. <laughs> I... I hate... Of Jimmy Gord just peeking in from the edges. Hey, uh, hey there, everybody. I'm just making sure. Hey, I'm just making sure that your stream honors God. Don't mind me. I'm 
just checking in to make sure that nobody's seeing any cusses on this stream. <laughs> <coughs> oh, fuck. And I'm here to make sure that everyone is saying every cuss. <laughs> I'm a Satanist. <laughs> oh dear, ah, that makes me pretty uncomfortable. I gotta get out of here. I'm going to chase him down the aisles of Walmart. Damn, that sounds like some cartoon shenanigans that I would want to watch on HBO Max. That's right, new spin-off series. Jimmy and the Virus. New season on HBO Max. From the creators of Jellystone. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sight. I thank you. And I then down the wedding me. aisle, oh, hey, boys, there you go, you Geo's Dyke. restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. Shiny happy steeples make shiny happy peoples. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Veggie Tales VTuber. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I want to commission a live 2D model of a VeggieTales Sona. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I want to do a VeggieTales VTuber stream. Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! God damn it! This is this is literally the only way I will be a VTuber. Oh my god. Fuck. That's I'll wor I'll worry about this on my own time. I'll worry that set me through a loop. Oh my god. Fuck. That's such a funny idea. Okay, what next? <laughs> I gotta do something here. Oh man. Mm -mm. So I am concerned right now that I don't I don't really know like what I don't I don't know which things are like, like I, I guess it's a it's a collectathon so really it's less about which specific uh, power cells are progressing the game and more just like how many I get so I think I assume the big thing right now is to get enough power cells to get to the fire canyon. And then that will probably unlock something else. So yeah, okay, that that seems, so I'm gonna go check. I, I don't actually know if it told me how many I need, but we'll, we'll go see. Let me see if I can find it. I will say navigation is a little confusing. Um, I mean, of course, just because like I, I just started less than like a couple hours ago. Um, so I'm not I don't I don't really know my way around. But I'm gonna go check. <clears throat> oh, I remember this. It was up there. It was up there because I remember coming down here. Uh afterwards. Okay. Oh, collect 20 power cells. How many do I have right now? 14. Wow, that sounds great, everybody. Heard the Yakos into their pen. Oh yeah, for the the guy. 
Ow. I'm mean and that's okay. <coughs> because mean is the only way. Such... Wait, they have such soft little faces. Wait. Oh, they have such cute little faces. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done? Ones and zeros turning into empathy. I knew I shouldn't have played Undertale. Ah. The gamer in me is dying. I will become a farmer. Next stream, Farmville. Is Farmville still running? <clears throat> Farmville 3! Dot co- <laughs> Whoa! They're on Farmville 3? Welcome home. Oh, it's mobile. Okay, next stream, Farmville. <clears throat> this is not a joke. Next stream, Farmville 3. Now I'm gonna bring in the crops from the jump <clears throat> Okay, I'm holding you to this. Yeah, no, no, I I I will do it. Here's 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 the catch, okay? Because I'm gonna be realistic. It probably sucks. And it's probably really shitty and slow and requires a big time and or money investment. So I will play it for as long as I can and I'll have a backup game in case it sucks and it doesn't work out. But next stream we'll start with Farmville 3. Or or whatever Farmville is available. If for some reason like that, that website is outdated. Farmville 3 into Bubsy, I would literally die. With those types of phone games, it's gonna last two minutes before you're gonna have to pay for something. Okay. Okay, then then that'll be what it is. I'm just saying, I'm like, I will do Farmville 3 next stream. I never said it's gonna be the whole stream. In fact, I specifically said I'll have a backup game because it's probably not gonna be. I'm making very realistic promises here. Okay, anyone else? Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Penny, what veggie do you want to use as your veggie V2 persona? Um... Well, let's see. Wait, shit. Oh god, I just- <laughs> I just moved. I just moved my chat window. Yeah, gotta bring in the crops from the Cause I'm gonna. Uh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> List of vegetables. <clears throat> A Z of vegetables. <laughs> Let's see. What's in the P section for P for penny? What do, what do parsnips look like? Hmm. I could maybe <clears throat> it's a little it's a little gangly, but I could maybe see this working into something if you like give it some shape. Penny parsnip, yeah, that's that's not bad. Um what else? Penny pumpkin. 
That's not bad. I don't know. I don't know why they. Oh, oh, it's all these different kinds of pumpkins. Whoa, whoa! There's some crazy looking pumpkins out there in the world. Is there a quiz you can take? Not a bad question. What vegetable are you? Quiz. Yeah, there's a BuzzFeed quiz. Okay. First off, if you were a vegetable, which dish would you want to be in? Soup, salad, casserole, sandwich. Oh, ratatouille. Obviously. You with me? So let's do this thing! Which aisle in the grocery store do you shop in the most? Um, probably the, probably. Frozen foods or snacks, if I'm being t like completely real. Probably frozen foods. Choose a fruit. Apples. What's your favorite way to eat a vegetable? Um, <clears throat> sauteed, sauteed definitely. Cause I love like, I love like stir fry and stuff. She's a vegetable that isn't that popular. These, I don't, I have never had, and I, and I, I don't think I've known about any of these up until this point. These look like white chocolate covered pretzels. So, you know what, lotus root. Finally, she's a word to describe you that could also be used to describe a vegetable. Oh man. Huh. <laughs> huh. Chad, this is on you. <laughs> it's a loaded question, but I don't I don't think I'm at liberty to Rotten! Oh my god, what the fuck? Juicy. Uh it it doesn't seem like we're getting like a like a common consensus here. I am seeing a lot of juicy. <laughs> Which like, thanks. Oh, ask your GF. Oh, good idea. Hold on. Yeah, stream. Well, this is important. So I was talking about. I was. I was telling Mar. I've been on the phone with Mar, and I was saying I miss my girlfriend. She's entire room away from me, and he said you should just go in there. And I was like, she's screaming. That's not a good idea. The exact second I finished that sentence, you opened the door. You said, Joy, come in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, I just have a very important question. Yeah. Uh, if you could describe me, uh, if what, which one of these words would you use to describe me if I was a vegetable? The word to describe you that could also be used to describe a vegetable. But if you want me to answer that question or the one that you just posed to me, which is <laughs> describe me if I was a vegetable. Because there's two different I feel questions. like they're one in the same. No, not quite. Are they not one in the same? Um, I would call, I would, if, okay, if you were a vegetable, what vegetable? First <laughs> of all. Is that the phantom virus? What? what? Where? What vegetable would you be, first of all, can you guess? That's what we're trying to figure out. That's what the quiz is for. Oh, okay. So if somebody was describing you, and you were a vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a choose, choose a word to describe you that could also be described. Yeah, answer the question as is, please. I'm Feel just, free. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just reading. I'm just thinking right now. There's, there's, there's not much to choose from. Um, there's six of them. Yeah, but like that's six adjectives out of like a possible. Um, I would say that you are. There are eight million adjectives. Sure, I counted them. <laughs> I'd say tender. Thanks. Yeah. Is that is that okay? Cool. I think most people in chat said juicy, and then one person said rotten. I forgot to pause Pokemon and I. Died. I'm sorry to hear that. 
I didn't know they let you die in Pokemon. I thought those games were for kids. That's kind of fucked up. They're for kids except for when you die. Just like life. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That was loaded, Penny. What the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna, okay, tender, let's see. Onion, gross! Tender like an onion. I refuse to take this as fact. Fuck you, That's quiz. Awful. Awful quiz. Oh, wait, it is the Phantom Bar. <laughs> I didn't know the Phantom Bar was still on screen. I thought I took him off. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm gonna let you do Okay. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I thought he took the Phantom Bar. <laughs> oh my god holy shit i'm not an onion i am okay i i swear to god if if anyone like takes that and runs with it banned and detention okay Why does he have a fuckboy face? He's the fuckboy virus. <laughs> the phantom fuckboy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, wait, all right, so we did the... Uh... We just did, where was the one we... Okay, yeah, heard the Yakos. Bring 120 orbs to the Oracle. Oh, shit. Where's the Oracle? Okay, here's here's a possibility. And I think I already saw someone bring this up. So, this isn't solely my idea. But my Final Fantasy 14 character's name is Pebbly Peach. I can only, like and and there are peaches and veggie tails. Like not every veggie tails character is a vegetable. I think that's actually limiting our scope a little bit. Um, which is, like, I think actually kind of, like, against the mission statement of vegetable, uh, <laughs> not vegetables, of veggie tales, uh, because, uh, God has no limits, um, and the scope of, like, God's power, uh, is actually, uh, endless. Um, so, uh, I think, like, I could be a peach. Yeah, Bob is a tomato. I, w I want to... I want to meet the person who, who like, officially, like, locked in stone classified uh, tomatoes as a fruit and shove them right into a locker and then th throw that locker uh, into, a, like, a locker room and then do, like, that thing where, like, you, like, you roll up a towel and, like, 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 whip like a you know like a whip crack to the to the locker that they're in um because like you can you can tell me all you want that technically tomatoes are fruits but you cannot convince my heart that the experience is the same <laughs> Modern torture dungeon. <laughs> where the fuck is the oracle? I don't know where anything is. Fun fact, Jack just tripped because the open world hadn't loaded properly and the game needed you to stop. That's, that's actually pretty fucking cool. What the hell? Why is this game so, like, this game is really well made. This is just like so fucking solid. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is the loudest sound I've ever heard in my life. I, I, 
I, I don't, I don't know if I'm going in the right direction, but you know, I, I feel like as long as we keep walking, we'll find something to do, you know? Wait, Penny, Aubergine. No. That's, that's our cat. That's not me. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god! Oh! I'm sorry, like... We have to get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again! I'm sorry for doing that to you, buddy. Oh my god! Where did he even go? I... I can't see... Oh! Come on, come on, come on! Yay! Give me that! When I was a kid, I used to run around like Jack and punch and spin and even did the death animation. I was an only child. That's really cute. That's a, that's extremely cute though. When I when I was a kid for for um one Christmas as a kid, my my cousin and I got uh sock and boppers. And I was so excited and I thought it would look and be really cool. If while fighting with my cousin with the sock and boppers, I tried to do like a video game spin attack. I I think I've talked about this before, probably. I'm running out of stories. <laughs> uh but Yeah, I did like a I did like a video game spin attack. And it was like probably the most cringe thing anyone's ever seen in their life. But like, I was like eight. <laughs> No! Goodbye. You wasted meter? Yeah, I didn't hit anything. <laughs> Ouch. 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 Did you win though? No, I didn't. I was an awful fighter. The meta was not in my favor. I wasn't even C tier. Wham. Oh, let's use the cannon to blow things up. Why? That seems like a mean thing to do. Oh shit. Okay. That's what you get for being a girl in this current meta, Jesus. <laughs> Happy Women's History Month, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to SnapCube. <laughs> what can I explode with all of my uh, ballistics power? Get some, get some! <laughs> Can I get that egg? Damn. I like really wanted to snuff out a life. This like doesn't have the range. Uh, okay. There's, like, nothing uh, of interest at the moment, so I'm going to back out? Okay. Um, we have 17, 17 power cells. Chase the seagulls. There's more seagull things to do? God damn. Let's go. Bum, 
bum ba da bum, I died. Um bum ba da bum, I died. Better you than me. What the fuck? That's not even funny, that's just selfish. <laughs> Man! I thought we were friends. Oh! It's the- okay, so Sandover Village, the Oracle is in Sandover Village, so... I need to not leave the fucking village area. There's two of these? Oh god, okay. Free seven scout flies. We still have... that to do. Hey! Little furry dude! <laughs> Skid oh, McMarks? I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. I see a vehicle. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? Oh, we are. There's a boat there. There's a boat there and I want to drive a boat. So, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. I'm interested in driving. Uh, I'm trying to live vicariously through video games because I'm gay uh, and I don't drive. Just kidding. I'm actually the only gay person that drives. Maybe we should go root out the fisherman. I heard he was in the jungle fishing by the lower river. I will drown you. I will drown you in the ocean. I can't drive the boat. There's no mechanic to drive. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. I, I can't understand a single word you're saying. Yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just taken <laughs> them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a Dear old uncle, sir. I remember when you call my little guy a piece of shit and did it again. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard earned. <laughs> That's the worst SU song, honestly. It's the up there, yeah. yeah. Bye -bye. Unfortunately, it's pretty up there. Did not, did not enjoy it. I could do a, I should do a, like a Steven Universe like song tier list stream or something. Where the fuck is the Oracle? What a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were a spotted orange bellied rain He yeah, had like a whole you dedicated know, yesterday, I saw bit of cinematography for him <laughs> there to just snap me. back at her. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. Okay. 
well, that's not the oracle. Push the flut flut egg off the cliff. I don't know why that sounds like really like I feel like I'm being rude when I say that. Is it just me? Like I don't know. Like I I hate saying that. The flut flut egg. I I hate that. Oh, is that the oracle? Sorry, yeah, my sorry, my brain doesn't work. I it's just this there's a lot of things to remember in this hub world. Yo, okay, actually, yes, I think it's because it like it sounds like the word slut, which is like a really just a rude word to say. drown. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, at least it was a cool dive. I <laughs> cool dive into the water. That was cool. <laughs> It'll be nice for my swimming portfolio. For your gift, Hurry another up, power cell is yours. I love that. I love the little guitar power slide animation. That's so cute. Okay. 19. Okay, one more. Uh... If we could find two more scout flies, that'd be great. Um, should be one right there. Just need one more. Across from the drill Stop! <laughs> <That> sucks. <laughs> oh, there's one. I caught it in me little eye. I spy with my little eye. Bye bye. Yay! Oh, it teleports right to me. That's so helpful. Twenty power cells achieved. We can go into the lava now. Good. You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and Psychonaut all feel like some subgenre of 3D platforms, but I can't pin down why. 3D platforms, but I can't pin down why. Um, I know exactly why. They they all have like. They, they all use the core gameplay of 3D platforming to enhance another very specific gimmick that completely changes and informs the structure of, of their games. Um, like, Psychonauts is all about its like characters and, and narrative, and it's all about exploring vastly different worlds all with their own like vastly different like kind of mechanics and and gimmicks and stuff uh ratchet and clank is very Wait, heavily combat focused and it's more of a shield. like a now, third careful. person shooter only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 Hold degrees on. so try to keep zoomer cool. flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast hit 500 degrees and it's over over like burning molten metal over the fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Cool. 
Uh, yeah, so then, uh, so Ratchet and Clank is more of like third person shooter, like slash 3D platformer. And a lot of games lean more towards the, the shooter aspect. And then Jack and Daxter very clearly relies on the sort of gimmick of it being like, like a really, like, interconnected, like, open worlds, like, collectathon. Um, so they, they all have, like, similar elements, but each of them uses the core elements to bolster what they do differently more than just rely on the basics of platforming. Which you could say about a lot of games, but I feel like these games in particular do it in a pretty special way. Whoa! Yikes. I need the balloon, I need the balloon, I need the balloon. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Damn, this is cool. Are you implying Bubsy 3D doesn't do that? <laughs> Bubsy 3D is so concerned just with being an acceptable platformer that they literally lampshade in the game the fact that um that they that their their platforming is literally made up of floating like non-characterized full-on just platforms <laughs> literally is just like what would a platform game be without platforms? And then you just jump on like a slab. I feel like I'm, am I doing this wrong? God damn. I wanna... Oh, shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so... Whether or not I'm moving has nothing to do with how fast it ticks up. Oh! Oh, an R1 is jump. Okay, cool. I can use that to... Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. So, driving over the lava is gonna greatly probably increase uh, how hot, I'm, yeah, okay. So it, it it greatly speeds up how, how fast I'm heating up if I drive over the lava for any longer than like a millisecond. So I need to make sure I'm using the jump and like decent navigation to be able to like avoid it as much as possible. What? Heavy explode? Why? <laughs> well, I hope you're happy. Shit. Uh oh. Oh well. Okay. That's fine. Woo! Oh, and then and then I assume the blue energy probably speeds me up. So in, in that case, it's a choice between going a little faster or cooling down. Which in this case, since I got a bad start, I will gladly take cooling down. This is fun, but hard. Ah! Yay! Look at me go! That was fun! Also shorter than I expected, which is great. We made it! Me too, Daxter. <laughs> me too. Actually me, unironically. That was really fun! I like that. Controls could have been a little better, but like, like I, I appreciate that a lot. 
This is really good. Oh, this is so neat. What the fuck? I really like this game. This is awesome. Okay. This is just like a new section. Hello? Oh. Uh-oh. What happened in here? Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the blue sage threw a party. Oh my! Popo Popo, Rock thank you so much fire. for the sub! One heck of a party. No, no, I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders. Uh-oh. Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. <laughs> of course. Jack, go check on the villagers. Then come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. All right. Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot the voice of is so cute. sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. <laughs> well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. Jack is just like, actually, yeah, I can be a chicken really well. Listen. I see. <laughs> yes. Impressive. <laughs> okay, cool. We can warp. Awesome. <laughs> Shit. Did you swim out to the lost precursor? Uh, what do you what do you call us, uh, a guy who is as like uh, like your superior? Uh, maybe like in the army or something. As you, like you want to be formal. You, maybe maybe you don't know his name. What, what do you what do you call it? just like a random like just random like like su like like an older guy who's your su su superior? Where's your city yet? Damn it! <laughs> no, you don't call it Ursa City yet. You should really try and raise the room. The blue I was going for Sir. Him. I was going for Sir, but it she. Delivered the line differently than I expected. Where is the fucking door? Oh my god, okay. Jesus Christ. Hey, can you see me? Am I annoying you? Can you see me? Am I annoying you? Am I annoying? Can you see me? Hey, can you see me? God, what if he had, like, bespoke dialogue for if he just, like, stood in front of his telescope for a little bit? Now, how did he get that levitator to work? What could have happened to him? He just swears. Yeah, but it's not, like, an appropriate swear. Like, you, like, you stand in front of the telescope for, like, five minutes and he just goes... He just goes, pussy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy that he said something like that. It didn't even make sense. It got this game a, uh, an E10 and up out. rating. <laughs> Only E10 and up, weirdly enough. Like to fuel his machine. Go get him. <laughs> Penny whispered like her parents would hear. <laughs> uh, my parents are divorced, so actually it would just be one parent. Yeah, 
you didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry! Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah, ratioed! <laughs> Hello. A women. <laughs> I almost said something. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh Alexa. Oh dear. That's that's a that's a that's a scary thing to hear. Precursor. Basin. Oh shit! Another vehicle. Yes, sir. That's one of those flying lurkers. He might have a power cell. Damn, this is fun. Bringing up the, the like the down, whoa the whoa whoa down. whoa whoa that frame rate that epic gamer's frame rate whoa someone get digital foundry on this analysis and weirdly enough the frame time graph actually shows inconsistent frame pacing that gives the game a sort of choppy feel now of course. Each Once they turn Sony off. eventually adds the long teased VRR update to the PlayStation 2, that will be much improved, but for now, it makes the experience rather uneven. And I can't recommend playing Jack and Daxter. I love Digital Foundry, can I just say? <laughs> I, I watch their shit all the time. Literally every time a new Digital Foundry video comes out, I'm like, oh hell yeah, I, I know what I'm watching while I eat lunch today. <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what goes through my head. It's like, fuck yeah, this is awesome. I'm injecting this directly into my veins. Dexter the full fat experience. <laughs> yeah, Jack and Dexter is the full fat. I literally, I, so I just realized I used the word bespoke earlier in this stream and I swear to God, I, I am only using that word recently because I've, I've been watching a lot of Digital Foundry. <laughs> and Jack and Dexter, of course, features a very impressive set of bespoke animations, which the developers at Naughty Dog clearly poured a lot of time into getting and tuning just right for the system's performance specs. However, something else about the graphical capabilities seemed to buckle under the weight of all of this game's ambition. And I have to say, as enjoyable as it is, the user experience suffers dudes. <laughs> like I just I, like I could literally just talk like that forever. It's so fun. I don't I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just having fun driving this funny little car.
the reception at my job was really bad, so I download your VODs and listen to them while I work. I don't know how that affects your ad revenue, so here's 50 bucks to hopefully make up for that. Holy shit, thank you so much! Uh, yeah, uh, downloading VODs, uh, unfortunately, yeah, doesn't- doesn't support me with ads because, I mean, ads don't play on- on downloaded VODs. Um, I don't mind, though. I mean, like, yeah, do- do it- literally enjoy- enjoy my content in whatever way works best for you. Uh, like, you know, what- one person downloading my VODs and watching them on their own time is- is not gonna, like, affect me in any negative sort of way, like... Like, obviously, you know, like, so... Actually, I talked about this on Tumblr recently. I know, yeah, plugging my Tumblr account. Whoa, that's that's not common nowadays. Um, like, someone sent me an ask about, like, if watching VODs on Twitch helps me more than it does watching them on YouTube. And so, like, just just for the record, if anyone is genuinely curious, like, like uh, so, like, obviously, ultimately, I, I want people to just enjoy my shit, like, however is is best for them right like which whichever way is most comfortable and accessible for you please just enjoy and I, I i hope you have fun um however if you are interested in like the the inner workings and mechanics of like what supports me the most either which way the tldr of it is essentially the if i am not actively live on twitch like, if my channel is not actively live at that very moment, the best thing you can do to support me is watch my stuff on YouTube. And that includes Twitch VODs. Like, go to Snap- like, if you want to watch a VOD, I highly encourage you to go to Snapcube 2 on YouTube and watch it there. Because that gets me, like, genuine ad revenue, and also, YouTube versions of VODs are a lot more evergreen than Twitch VODs are. Specifically just because of the fact that YouTube VODs are, like, in the algorithm of the site and, like, through engagement get spread to more people and thus there's a higher chance for people to, like, discover them and watch them. So it helps me not only with revenue but also discoverability. However, if I am actively live, the best way to tangibly support me in that moment, you know, if I'm streaming, is to, like, subscribe to the channel uh, and, you know, boost the sub count or send a donation or anything like that. And that's a really reliable way to do it if I am actively on stream and you want to, like, throw some support my way. That's the best way to do it. Subs or donations if I'm live. If I'm not live, they just watch my shit on YouTube. Like, and, and that's, that's, that's really it. That's, that's kind of, that's, that's the basics of it. Obviously, there, and uh, past that, there's a lot more nuances as to other types of content that I do, like music and stuff. But if we're just talking like streams and like game video... Oh, and another thing is uh, supporting the highlights on the main channel is also a really currently very important part of like my output and how people can support what I'm doing. Uh, it's is is, uh, is is by watching watching the Ellie edits on, on main channel Snapcube. Uh, because, you know, a lot of work goes into those and uh, they're a lot. They're a lot more shareable, and so if they're if they're like sent through recommendations and stuff, given their much more digestible length and much more like hopefully clickable titles and stuff, uh, there there's a lot higher chance that um, people will watch them. What if Ellie was one of us? Damn, that's that's a good question, Alexa. What's your Tumblr again? Something something beanies? Nope. Never again. Uh, my Tumblr is just Snaps Cube. Damn, this 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 like weird ring mission is tough. Mainly because I'm bad at driving. I use Admog. I'm basically a freeloader smile. Looks like we have an imposter among us.
I want a whole game of this. I'll play an entire game of- oh wait, Superman 64. Never mind. I take it back. That was a- that was a real quick turnaround time on- on a thought that I had. That's probably- that's probably a record. Put that up on howlongtobeat.com! I literally, nowadays, I go on howlongtobeat.com like every fucking day of my life. How long to beat.com informs so much of what I do in such a subtle, in the background, but extremely important way. I will make entire decisions of whether or not I want to stream something based on how it's listed on how long to beat.com. God damn it. <laughs> gotta still be there. It's gotta still be there. Come on. I say there. I don't actually know where that is anymore. Oh god. I genuinely, for the life of me, I have no clue where that is. And now I can't do the race. <laughs> so I can't... I, I literally just have to drive around and find it. Oh, here it is. Never mind. It wasn't that bad. Stop being a baby, what the fuck? Okay, um... God, there's a lot to do. It's a lot to do. Investigate, navigate the blue precursor rings. There's blue ones? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Down. Hey, do you see the rumors that there may be a new Sly Cooper game in the works? Um, I've seen plenty of them. Like, like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I am ecstatic about the possibility of a new Sly Cooper or a new Infamous. Uh, but I will say, I, I currently, I don't, rumors don't, like, quote rumors in, in the vein of just like Pete, like some rando on Twitter, just saying that something is happening. Um, doesn't hold much weight to me anymore. And as far as I can tell, that's kind of the only validity behind that. But like, God damn, I'm like, I'm crossing my fingers for new Infamous. Really mainly new Infamous. I mean, I'll, I'll take new Sly Cooper. I love Sly Cooper, but my, my like, uh, my, 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 my biggest hope is, is for Infamous to come back at the moment in terms of like PlayStation franchises that I, that I miss. Okay, well, I can't find the blue rings, so, uh, goodbye. Hmm. They could do a whole MMO with the concept. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I talked about that idea in and I think one of the Oh, what's this? Free seven scout flies. In Fire Canyon specifically? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. They had those along the track. Uh, I talked about that in one of my I think infamous two thoughts. One of my infamous two streams. I'm becoming impatient already for a new Ratchet and Clank. I feel that right now I'm just taking solace in the fact that Rift Apart is clearly not the last one they want to make. Like, the fact that they at all teased a sequel 
makes me really happy. Uh, and I've talked about this. I just, I, I'm so happy because there was a high, high, high chance that Rift Apart was gonna be like a sort of like big kind of like, yes, like revival game, but also kind of like send off of the series. Like I, I felt like there was just as much of a chance as it being like kind of a send off game as it was like a, like a revival. Um, but alas, that game ends with a very, very big te sequel tease, uh, which makes me very excited because clearly that means they have ideas, they want to make more, and they plan to. They plan to enough to confidently tease that they're going to, which is, I'll fucking take it. Cause that's, cause that's more certainty than we've had like, God, since, since, into the Nexus, even. And since, like, a lot of people didn't play into the Nexus, probably, for a lot of people, since a crack in time. If we're, if we're getting real, uh, getting real far back with it. Which, if you don't know, was a long, long time ago. Because, like, yeah, there was the 2016 game, but that was that was a movie tie-in. And, yes, it, it, it gave us a little bit of hope that, like, they were at least going to sustain the franchise in some way. But also, like, we didn't really know if it was going to be, like, the beginning of a, like, shitty reboot series. Or if it was just going to be the, the, the movie tie-in reimagining. And thank God it was the latter. I seriously don't know if I could have stomached an entire series in, in the reboot game style. I don't know why the games industry seems to hate platformers so much right now. It like doesn't. <laughs> that, I, I feel like that, the era of platformers being a thing of the past is long over. Like they're like, platformers really are not scarce right now. I think that's maybe a little bit doom and gloom. There are, pl there are platformers all over the place, especially nowadays. There was a Ratchet and Clank movie? Good question. No. Shit. Oh yeah, name 20. Ukulele, A Hat in Time, Super Mario Odyssey, Metroid? Metroid Dread, does that count? I'll say it counts. It's kind of platformer. It's Metroidvania, but it's it's platformer. Um, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Two Ratchet and Clanks, because there's 2016 and Rift Apart. Crash 4. Crash Insane Trilogy. <laughs> Doing a good job. Oh, Psychonauts 2. I feel like I'm going to take away Metroid Dread because that one's 2D. I feel like that doesn't count for the conversation. It takes two. Sackboy, a big adventure. That's 10. <clears throat> Kino Bridge of Spirits. Maybe. Actually, I haven't played that game enough to know if it's like a full on platformer more than it is like an adventure game. But I'll, I'll, it has platforming elements at least. I'll say that. Uh, I'm, try, I'm just trying to name them off the top of my head. Oh, God. 
Oh, uh, 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 Moss. Astrobot Rescue Mission. Astro's Playroom. I'm specifically trying to think 3D platformers. Super Mario 3D World. Yes, it's kind of more in like the 2D level structure, but it's 3D. Super Lucky's Tale. Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Mm. That's 17. Pretty close. I guess Bowser's Fury counts. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to read chat too much. Pokemon X and Y, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Fuck. Literally just two more. Uh Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Lose my mind. Yeah, I guess Sonic Forces counts. Sonic Colors Ultimate, that counts. There were other remasters in there. 20 games. <laughs> 20 3D platformers, even. <laughs> 3D platformers are alive! And I don't think you even counted Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I did. It was it was in like one of the first like five. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Hearts doesn't count. Kingdom Hearts is an RPG. There and back again? Oh, I think I understand. I think I understand. Uh oh. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, does this have anything to do with... No, okay. Well... Yeah, why does the why does the electrified water look like soda? Like it looks actually hey, really Jack, delicious. Can I uh, have your insect collection? What? I have an insect collection. What the fuck? That's so cool. I'm, I'm glad that Jack has like a hobby. All right. Well, I guess we'll explore up then.
soda is electrified water? Uh, no, that's Gatorade. They literally talk all the time about how they put electric lights in Gatorade. Literally, if you look on the Gatorade bottles, they're always talking about how much electric lights they have in there. Oh, I love dying in sludge. It's my favorite way to die. <laughs> Electrolyte orchestra. <laughs> Fuck! This is fine. This is cool. Awesome. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna not- Well, actually, no, I want these because they'll help me get more power cells. Picking these up is actually a very easy way to get power cells, and I need to do it as much as possible. Fuck my health and safety. I'm dead. We were we were falling into the sledge again. Daxter didn't even have time to say like a funny jump scare bit at me. Oh, it goes in circles. I didn't notice that. I like visually couldn't parse that standing up on that top platform. What the fuck? Too fast. Too fast. Delete the game. Bad game. Bad game. I didn't immediately uh, and painlessly get what I want. And I didn't get it for the sole purpose that I want it. Bad game. Whoa, this is cool. Oh, I love this. I love this mechanic. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is so cool. <laughs> That's so fun. Holy shit. I like that a lot. Man, this is funky. This is full of funky ideas. Penny, will you drink lean on stream, but minus the drug part? I am gonna be real, I fully have no concept of what you are talking about. That That is actually incomprehensible to me right now. I died. It's gamer girl juice, then sign me up! Confirmed not cool. Oh no, I'm being peer pressured. What the fuck? Lean is Sprite plus NyQuil, and it's basically bootleg liquor. That sounds like it fucking sucks. That sounds like, that is like one of the most unappealing things I've ever heard in my life. Why would you, why would you drink that? Like people get addicted to it. That's that's insane. I mean, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, 
I don't, yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I didn't know this was like a thing. We gotta sell! Wait, what? Uh oh. The fuck? Quick! Follow that pipe! I'm following the pipe, I'm following the pipe, I'm following the pipe! This is easy. Uh, God, this is gonna be the easiest thing I do, I think. Look at this. Fuck you. L plus ratio. Plus easy. Plus touch grass. What are your thoughts on MatPat's latest game theory? <laughs> We're really, really scraping the bottle, the bottom of the barrel here. What is his latest game theory? I don't watch game theory. I don't watch game theory. What are you talking about? I'll bite. What is it? <laughs> the disturbing lore of Mega Mansion just got darker. It's a picture of the scary grandma with a pie with eyeballs in it. And it says, <laughs> secret recipe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. No, I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch game. <coughs> I'm not gonna watch game theory. I'm not watching game theory. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Herself a gamer, but doesn't watch the theory. <laughs> How can you pretend to be qualified to speak on gamer related subjects if you haven't read any <laughs> any gamer textbooks or studied up on gamers' theory? God damn it. Oh, can I turn into a funny animal? Wait, can I turn into a funny little animal? In like an alternate universe of this game where I, I die there, can I turn learn can I not die and instead like turn into like a little cat or something? Like a little cat. Like a little cat, you know? God, that was almost extremely stupid. I survived purely out of luck. But I literally elected to jump on the single platform that was about to fold in on itself. Why? Because it was the closest one. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, did someone say cleanest shit you've ever seen? Yeah? Yeah. Alright, I'm starting to feel like I got everything in here, basically. Oh, fuck! 
<laughs> Say good night, Jack. You're down there too. <laughs> now you're there by yourself. You can't even do the roll by yourself. I'm done. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die really quick. That's okay. That's okay with everybody. Good night, Jack. Yeah, yeah, he was he was he was like he was saying it mutually. <laughs> he, he, he didn't mean that as an insult. He literally was just being nice. What the fuck? Honey, why do you have to be so standoffish for no reason? Why did I walk this way? It's not where I'm supposed to go. <sighs> okay, okay. I made it. In a roundabout way, but I made it. Um, okay. I am gonna say I will probably call it here. I would like to play more. I'm actually, I'm really enjoying this. This is great. Uh, but I, I have a doctor's appointment, like, really fucking early tomorrow, and I gotta get up at, like, 6 a.m. At the, at the latest, I have to get up at, like, 6 a.m. So, um, hopefully we can get some longer streams of this in, maybe about, like, five hours, preferably for the next one. I don't know. We'll see if I have the energy. But um yeah, I need to I need to go ahead cuz I still got like I still got stuff to take care of. Like I got to wash clothes and take a shower and everything. So uh I got to be responsible and like just make sure that I'm not literally suffering tomorrow by staying up until like 3 in the morning tonight. Uh so I got to stop now just so that I have space to do everything. Um Yeah, <laughs> yeah, next up uh, a Farmville 3 segment and then maybe something else if that doesn't last very long <laughs> uh, but hey thanks thanks so much for dropping by everybody for this first Jack and Daxter stream I hope you had a great time I'm sorry the vibes of this stream were fucking rancid uh, maybe next one will be better I don't know why don't you drop by to find out <laughs> we'll see um, is anyone else going right now? Is anybody going that we can raid? And in the meantime, do y'all have any raid phrase, raid phrase ideas? Hey, yeah, Sophie's going. Sophie's playing Spelunky too. Let's, uh, let's raid Sophie. The virus. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Raid phrase, the virus. Good night, Jack is also good, uh, but I like the virus. We we can maybe save good night, Jack, for a future one, because I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll be hearing it again. Okay, let me set this up. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, thank you. I had a great time. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be an adult, unfortunately. Um, and. Uh, y'all have a y'all have a great night or day, whatever it is where you are. Of course, please be good to yourselves. And uh, as always, I hope to see y'all pretty soon with some more fun times. Uh, maybe another stream before the weekend is over. We'll see. Um, again, I got a busy day tomorrow, uh, but I'll be I'll have the house to myself like over the weekend, so I might just have plenty of time to just set a just set an impromptu thing up. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, obviously, y'all will know. Uh, and of course, best way to know is by following me on Twitter if you haven't already at SnapsCube. And if you want to join the Discord, uh, you can get access to that by subbing to the channel. And uh, even if you lose access to your sub and lose access to the other channels, uh, it'll still work as like an announcement because I announce every stream I do, I do there. So it's a nice place to get announcements if you turn on notifications for that server. Uh, but again, you gotta you gotta have a sub to access it. But anyway. Uh, thank you for all the support tonight, by the way. Uh, Y'all have been extremely generous. Uh, God, I wish I had more time to thank you. Actually, I started the raid too early. Uh, but seriously, it really means a lot. Thank you, thank you. Uh, have a wonderful time in the near future. Just have, just have, a, have a great one. Uh, see you soon. Bye!